Today is a new day and I have a new feature to share with you. It is a new feature for my app custom symbols that you may be familiar with. Please check out the custom symbols playlist if you want to get familiar with the app. But anyway, I have a new feature to share with you today and it's the, um, the batch convert feature. Now what the batch convert feature does, it allows you to convert um, an unlimited number of SVG files into custom symbols with a click. Makes it easy. I got the idea for this feature from a user who emailed me and asked if there was an easy way to convert like 500 or something SVG files into custom symbols and at the time there was not. And I said, wow, that should really be added to the app. So I went ahead and added it to the app. So let me show you how it works. So here I have a finder window over here on the right hand side. And inside that finder window is a folder containing a whole bunch of icons that I downloaded from the, uh, the Feather icon set that you may or may not be familiar with. It's just a bunch of icons, man, and they're made in, in such a way that they work really well with the Custom Symbols app and that they are comprised of strokes and not fills. I want to convert all of them with a click. I want to do that. All right, so what you do so I got a bunch of SVG files in this Feather folder. I'm going to right-click the folder, and you will see, if you are observant, you will see that it says Convert SVGs. See that? That's from the Custom Symbols app. That's one of the ways you can do it. And another way you can do it is from within the app itself in the File menu. Hit File, and then you will see there's this new option called Batch Convert. As you probably can guess, click it. Browse to the folder. I've already got it selected. Boom. You can do that. You could do it that way. Anyway, I'm going to do it this way inside Finder. So I think it's cooler for whatever reason. And I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and click Convert SVGs. What it does, it'll convert all of the SVGs inside the folder using the current settings. So whatever the current settings are in the app at the time that you click Convert, it'll use those settings. So this works really well with a icon set where the parameters, I mean where the icons are all made with the same like view box. So if you have a bunch of disparate icons that aren't consistent, you might not want to batch convert them because you probably need to play with the parameters for each one. But for the feather icon set, they're all pretty uniform, I think. So it's a pretty good candidate for the batch convert feature. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll just shut up now and you can watch the magic happen. Convert SVGs, and then you get this dialog. It says, 285 SVG files were found in the folder. Would you like to convert them into custom symbols using the current settings? Yes. And it lets you specify the output folder. The default output folder is just a folder called custom symbols within the folder that you just selected. And you can change it if you want. I don't know why anyone would want to, but you can if you want. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit convert, and you'll see that it just goes bananas. Boom, boom, boom. See, see, see? As you can see behind the window, it's, it's converting the SVGs one at a time, doing its thing. You don't have to do it manually. It's the beautiful uh, spectacle of automation. And it's almost done. It just finished. It's done. Open output folder. And here they are, all of the custom symbols ready to plop into Xcode. Let me just open a random one, spot check these, make sure it didn't break anything. Yep, there it is, custom symbol. Very nice. I'll spot check another one. Looks good. Not too shabby. So that's the uh, batch convert feature. I hope you find it useful. If you are not familiar with the Custom Symbols app, perhaps watch some of the other videos in the Custom Symbols playlist that I've put together. Thanks.